Hey guys, I'm Paul Brooker with GMP Performance. Um, as many of you guys know, I had worked with APR and Researcher Development for quite a while. Uh, we're gonna be talking about two of the cars uh, that we have here, actually three of them, but two of them are here, um, that GMP has acquired over the years. Uh, we'll talk about their names, uh, what modifications they have, what we do with them here at GMP, and we'll kind of walk you through that stuff uh, as we look over the cars. All right, so first one we're gonna talk about is the uh, 2014 Volkswagen GTI. Um, this was originally named uh, Pepe uh, when we were at APR. Um, started life as, honestly, the first Mark 7 in the States for development vehicle uh, for APR. So uh, stage one, stage two, stage three, stage three plus, everything was developed with this car. I'm sure many of you have seen it on Caffeine and Octane and at just uh, a plethora of different track events. But once uh, APR was done with development on the cars, uh, GMP reached out. GMP has been a longtime dealer with APR and we wanted to start doing demo cars, track cars, have these available so people can drive and experience what they are, why we build them, all that kind of stuff. Um, so this car uh, was sold as a Stage 3 Plus car. Um, we tracked that for a while, and uh, it's got a fully built uh, forged internal engine on it. Um, it's got the APR brakes, the sway bars, sway bar end links, uh, now has the APR coilovers that just came out. It had the previous APR coilovers in it, CSF radiator, uh, intake, intercooler, exhaust, downpipe, all that jazz. Um, but when we got it at GMP, we wanted to kind of preserve the livery that was on it. Originally, uh, this livery was red, white, and black. Um, a gentleman named Conan uh, at APR, a very talented individual. Um, <laughs> we stayed one night, we had a car show coming up. None of the cars had liveries on them and we wanted them to have something. So he literally hand cut every piece on these cars. And like I said, it used to be red, black, and white. Um, we actually kept the same livery design on the car and just did it in our GMP colors. Uh, the butterfly blues, the dark blues, so on and so forth. So um, again, uh, now this car runs, uh, it's got an IS38. It's running the APR IS38 file, um, has the downpipe and exhaust on it. And we use it for all of our track events. Uh, customers can rent this car. They can test drive this car. We use it as a demo car. Um, so it's cool. And, and honestly, what makes it awesome is the history behind it. And like how many people have seen this car, been a part of building the car. Um, and just to have it kind of preserved like this is, is for us what makes it really neat. So, all right, next one we're gonna talk about is the 2018 Mark 7 and a half uh, GTI. Uh, its name is Knuckles. This car actually is originally red. Um, it was a development vehicle uh, that APR had. Um, when I was at APR at the time, we were working on coming out with track package cars or track edition cars. Basically where you could have a brand new car, uh, APR, you know, we threw the entire catalog at it and you would have a, a track ready street car uh, to go out and have fun with. Before uh, we finished development, the car at APR, we went through it, built that track package, got everything ready. Uh, we actually built a clone to this car uh, for Griot's Garage. Jeff Brown actually owns that car now um, called Edition 36. So we finished the car, we sent out the SEMA, that's where we unveiled the new catch can systems that many of you guys run and all that other kind of stuff. Um, and then again, uh, now that I'm at GMP Performance, this car came up for sale last year and we wanted to add to our uh, collection of our demo GTIs we have. So uh, we went and picked up Knuckles, which again was red. Uh, we did our own livery design on this, kind of wanted to change it up. We have three GTIs total. We have Pepe, we have Knuckles, and we have one called Ruger that we have up at the, uh, the other store. Each one has its own unique livery to it. This car in itself right now is running uh, the APR DTR turbo kit. We're on the factory catalyst on it. Um, we've got the APR um, street rotors that they had on this. Um, it's still running the factory calipers, but it has the APR rotors front and back on it with the pads. Um, it does also run the APR coilover suspension that we have on it, intercooler intake, uh, radiator, all that kind of stuff. Um, but something kind of cool, um, these cars that we get from APR, I mean, we literally get them when they're done with development. As you can see here, there's still some instrumentation caps back there. Um, everything is is like it was. And again, APR spends a lot of time going in to make sure that the tunes you guys are running on these cars, whether it's a big turbo, IS38, IS20, stage one, stage two, whatever it is, they spend a lot of time um, and money making sure that it's safe for you to do. But um, this built engine in, in uh, Pepe, we have 130,000 miles on. Uh, it's still running strong. Like I said, this is an IS38 car with, we, we just finished putting the dip in there. And this one right now, we're up to 68,000 uh, running the DTR kit, which again, this car was used to develop the, the release of the DTR turbocharger. So um, just wanted to kind of touch base on that and let you guys know where we are. We do daily these cars. I mean, we, we drive the crap out of these things. Um, you can see they're rough around the edges, but that's because they either live on track or the street. They don't just sit in a garage. So we bought this car, I think with 27,000 miles on it. Um, 
we've driven it back and forth up north to car shows, track events all over the place. So yeah, it's uh, they're fun. They're fun to they're fun to drive around and have a good time with.